With this bass widening trick, you can take your metal bass tracks from this. To this. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to share my bass widening trick. This is uh, essential for all my mixes. It's very, very simple, but it makes a world of difference. It just gets those bass tracks, those metal bass tracks nice and wide and just widens up your entire mix with just this beautiful, beautiful wide bass sound without overwhelming the mix with low end, but gives you a nice, nice fat bass sound that's, that's nice and wide. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here we are in the DAW and with this metric AB opened up, I'll show you what the bass sounds like with the stereo widener off and show you with the stereo imager on the metric AB what that looks like. We got nothing. And we have nothing because there's no width to the bass. Now, if I unmute my width, yeah. You just hear the difference that makes. So now that you heard it, you heard it in the beginning, you heard it here in context, how do we get it? So you get your, get your bass sound. This is all one track. I have uh, the gym bass two into a little CLA, into our bass mono to give it a little thumpy thump. I have my crazy, <laughs> my crazy uh, EQ here. And I finish it off with a limiter. And that, if without the stereo, that's nice, controlled, good bass sound. So then I have this secondary track. I just call my stereo widener, but I uh, exclusively use it for bass. Sometimes I'll throw a couple other instruments in here. Um, just to give it a overall width. If something needs a little more widening, I'll throw some um, orchestra in here. I'll throw my synths in here. The drums usually have their own um, reverbs going on and guitar, sometimes I'll throw that in here, but at a way lower rate just to, to kind of glue it together. But um, mainly this is purple because this is for my bass. So it's only two plugins to get this the first thing is some kind of eq with mid-side processing and we high pass i high pass it all the way up to 378 hertz and my slope is 12 db per octave and the important thing here is the stereo placement so i put it on the mid channel um so we are removing everything from the mid channel under 378 on that curve. And that takes care of that. So this is the first thing you want in that, um, your first plugin. And then this is up to you, but you want a short reverb. Um, I have the DK set here to uh, 0.8 seconds, 100% mix, zero pre-delay, and the width at 200%. Um, I did add a little bit of highs, around 8K, just to give it a, a little sheen. And my low gain, I have it at negative 12. So this is the default, the Haloplate um, plugin. And with just that, that will get you from this to this.
Hopefully you're listening headphones so you can really hear the difference there. And honestly, that's it. It's a very simple trick, um, very easy to do. And then if you're in Reaper, like I am, you make that track, get it to how you want, set it how you want, you right click it, and then save tracks as template, and just save this as a template. And then whenever you want to insert it, insert track from template, and then what do I have? Bass Stereo Widener, just right here. I click on that bad boy and boom, she's ready to go. And this is in every single one of my mixes, it doesn't matter which genre of music I'm working on. And then you just put it into taste. And you can see with the stereo imaging here, that's with the stereo widener on. And that's with it off, just straight down the center. Put that bad boy on and get that nice fat sound. You can hear the difference that makes. Just really glues everything together. Thank you, thank you. So that is it. That is my bass stereo widening trick. Um, it's not mine. Um, a lot of the pros use it. It really took my mixes to another level and i'm hoping that it is helpful for you and will take your mixes to the next level see you on the next one